Okay, going in. That step there in the doorway lifts up. That's a toolbox or flashlight bin. Obviously, whatever you want. Uh, chair right by the door. Here's the front cab area. And it's got the nice big opening. And then, of course, the mattress. You can flip it over and make a queen-size bed up there. Uh, that's just the cushion for the dinette when you turn that into a bed. This TV is on a pivot. It swings out on its bracket and turns to whatever viewing angle you want. Under the TV you have these little storage bins. Uh, here's your chair. Above the chair we have all of the TV controls. It's Blu-ray player, antenna, cable, and if you are tied in at a campground. Another bin over the door. Big bin. All your controls. Turn your hot water where you want it. Check your levels. Built-in coffee maker. Um, going back the other direction. There's a privacy curtain there. There's another privacy curtain for the lower part to close at night. Bins over the sofa. The sofa has two seat belts and a large pull-out storage drawer. Custom belt. Um, dinette. Three more large bins above. The side you have storage the full length of the dinette. And then of course the table can drop down and that can become a sleeping area. The slide is fully out. You've got your furnace control, your inverter and everything there. Coming around you have your large pantry. Shelves. You have storage above your refrigerator. Another nice cabinet. Double door refrigerator. Normal size RV refrigerator, it's not large. Microwave convection and your stove oven with the top three burner, typical. Um, sinks. What's your and there are lights everywhere, so you can make it bright. You've got the pull-out on your sinks. Nice style faucet there. Under the sink you have a very large cupboard with a shelf. Get all your pots and pans in easily. Beside it you have your roll-out silverware and utensil drawers. Uh, moving into the back. Close up the refrigerator. Pantry. Okay, this is the bathroom area. Shower first. Sorry, there's not a lot of room in here. There. Light helps. Um, when you fully open the bathroom door, it latches in. So you've got a nice bathroom area. Uh, large vanity here. Oh, of course, there's the little um, vent fan, skylight area, sink, beside the toilet. I've got half dozen or six rolls of toilet paper right there, and there's still plenty of room for more stuff. Big cabinet under the sink. Um, then Moving on, you can actually separate the bathroom from the bedroom with the little accordion door. Moving into the bedroom, you have two large closets that auto light when you open the door. You have a pull down here, another huge area. Behind the TV, you have a large storage area. Keep extra blankets and towels. closet is as large as the front one. Again, lighted. 
rear window. You've got a window on either side of the slide out, large storage compartments above, lights. The bed lifts up, typically, just like every other bed. And there's storage underneath. Uh, finished storage area, and then you can, of course, pull that up. And you've got your tanks and inverter. So, a uh, drawer. Those are. See the depth on them. This one's not quite as deep, and the front one is the same. A little more shallow than those two back ones. Um, obviously, we have the water disconnected. It's winterized, and there's a skylight above. So, I think that's mostly everything to show you. So right now the slides are out. I'll do another clip with the slides in so you can see that it's still very comfortable and walkable with the slides in.